start out with our learning target. Mirrors. Mirrors. I will know. I will know. I am successful. I am successful. When I can apply. When I can apply. Area. Area. And parameter. And parameter. Formulas. Formulas. To real life situations. To real life situations. Mirrors off. Mirrors off. All right, raise your hand if you can tell me what our formula was for area. Ooh, I see some hands going up. Okay, go ahead. Tell us, Joel. It was two times length plus two times width. That's perimeter, right? Yeah. So you add those print you to add your perimeter up, you're going to multiply your length times width. Your your length times two. two. So there's two of them, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're going to add that to two of the width. Width. Very good. So that was parameter. So let's think about what area was. What is area, Palin? Area is length plus width. All right. Mirrors? Mirrors. Area? Area. Equals? Equals. Length times width. Length times width. All right. Mirrors off. Mirrors off. Awesome sauce. All right. So we know we're going to be using what this week to help us. What's that first vocabulary word? Formula. 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 All right. Now. On your own, on this Nearpod, it says draw a rectangle that is five centimeters wide and is 12 centimeters long. That doesn't mean you have to actually measure it out, but you can make a model. Mirrors? Mirrors. I will make a model. I will make a model. The length, the length will be 12. Will be 12. And the width? And the width will be five. Will be five. Mirrors off? Mirrors off. Go ahead and do that step first. Draw a rectangle where your length is 12 and your width is 5. I want everybody to read that last question with me. Let's go. What is the area of the rectangle? All right, very good. What is the area of the rectangle? So what's that question wanting us to figure out? 60. Awesome. So our area is equal to what? 60. 60. 60 what? What was our unit of measurement? 60 centimeters. Centimeters. What if it's CM for centimeters? The longer side would be our length, okay? So he showed he showed that in his model. So did he says this. Emma Daniels, good job. He showed me that the width was the smaller portion and the length was longer. I did not Right now. Pause right here. Um because this is gonna be the last one we do before we break into our studios. So I'm gonna make sure you're with me. Let's go over our for, our formula for area again. Area, area equals, equals equals length times width. Length times width. Long. Say that with me. Length is long. So length will be longer. So that can kind of be a way to remember it, okay? All right. So now that we went over our area formula again, let's put what we know into practice, okay? The first thing we need to do is we need to figure out what is the problem about. So let's read the problem together. Kevin makes a rectangular mural with colored tiles. So what's he making? All right, mural with colored tiles. All right. He has enough tiles to cut to cover 112 square feet. Everybody circle that on your question. Uh, area. Area, because it's the whole mural, right? The whole area of the mural. All right, so we know we've got our area. And it says he uses all of the tiles. The mural is how many feet wide? Eight feet, Eight feet wide, right? And how long is the mural? So what's the question asking us? How long is Do we, so long is, we're trying to find what? We see long, we know we're trying to find the length. length, right? So we need to know how long is the mural. So that's what the question is about. That's what we're asking. So let's go ahead and write our formula okay. for area. Now let's plug in what we know. Do we know the area? Absolutely, we knew it was 112 square feet. Do we know the length? We don't, do we? It says how long is the mural. We don't know it. Do we know the width? Yes. All right. Now, let's plug in what were you telling me? Um, what is the area of the mural? Square. 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 You are on track. Absolutely. So we know whatever our length is, when we multiply by 8, we're going to get what? So if we opposite of multiplying. What did I say the opposite of multiplying was? Everybody say inverse. Inverse. And it's like the opposite of multiplying, right? So we're going to kind of 
Do the inverse here. The opposite of multiplying is dividing, so we're going to divide. So let's set that up here. 112. It was the area model. Area model and long division. Say it with me. Area, area model and long division. And long division. Awesome. You may use either of those strategies to help you divide this problem. I'm going to give you about two minutes. Go ahead and divide 112 by 8. All right. Can you talk us through it? Okay. So I wrote down 112 and divided by 8. I knew 8 could go into 1, so I said how many times 8 could go into 11. Okay. And I knew it could only go in one time, and so I put the 1 up there. All right. Very good explanation. So she used long division and there is no remainder. So our quotient is 14. 14. Awesome. And that gives us our what? Our length. Our length. Is that what our question was asking? How long is the mural? Okay. Go to your math studio. Can you attach that there? Yep. Okay. I'm going to give you markers while we're doing that. Very good, and your width is two, so you're going to multiply those together to find your area. You're going to multiply eight times two. Yep. You guys got a nine and a six, so how do you want to do it? I do, but what are you going to do? Nine and a six. All you do is just put nine and six on there. Yo, we got lots of area. Yeah.